Because tonight, tonight, ah, somebody's going to throw a punch tonight. All the way from Kingdom Prosperity, see, Bishop had me introduce my brother, so I won't even say my brother, so that they don't know, but my brother, I won't say it. Bishop invited for us, brought for us his son, all the way from Kingdom Prosperity, to come and pour at our conference, fighting for your territory. Help me welcome Apostle Rodney Chipoyera. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Breaking the chains, unlocking your destiny. Give him a mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. I want you to find three neighbors, give them a high five, and tell them tonight the enemy is in trouble. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I want uh, the most beautiful woman in the world to come and just pray. In case you're wondering, you've never seen the most beautiful woman, today is your day. Come on, just walk up my baby as she comes up. She is the love of my life, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She was designed for me, fearfully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Just give me a little bit more monitor sound, please. I just wanted to pray. We want to get into the word tonight. Tonight, we're excited to be in God's presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints. I wasn't here this afternoon. But you were defending your territory. You were defending your territory. I liked it when she said, Kuti, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to throw a punch. Do you know, Kuti, Shumba is real. All he does is to roar, to tell the enemy that I'm coming. So you don't need to throw a punch. You just need to go. Ah. You just need to go. Ah. Let your enemy know that you are close. Let your enemy know that you are near. Let your enemy know that you are ready to enter his territory and take back everything that is stole from you. Everything that is stole from your mother. Everything that is stole from your forefathers. Tell the enemy that I'm roaring tonight. This conference I'll be roaring. I'm coming to you. 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 It's our time. It's our moment. It's our season. It's our time. We are taking it back. We are taking it back. We are taking it back. Gone are the days to fear the enemy. Come on, let's roll in the from you hallelujah hallelujah baba thank you for inviting us leaders of the ministry thank you for inviting us hallelujah i can't believe i'm standing on the stage hallelujah i'm very humbled father we thank you lord we glorify you we magnify you in the name of Jesus, 
We acknowledge that you are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Father, today touch every man. Touch every boy. Touch every girl. We command a change. We command a turnaround in our lives. We command a change in this nation. In the name of Jesus. Let your word tonight cause a change in the lives of your people, Lord. And everybody said, everybody said, come on, let's give a clap of for it to the King of Kings and his place. Let's shout hallelujah! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Special package. Lord, I learned from my father, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Please remain standing, Amen. Just grab your Bible very quickly. I want to get straight into the Word. I want, while you're opening the Word, I want to acknowledge my spiritual father, a great general in the kingdom of God. Oh, is that how you acknowledge a general? A great general in the kingdom. We love and appreciate you, Bishop, our spiritual cover. Amen. We will never take you for granted. You are a great blessing in our lives. Thank you for this opportunity to stand before the people of God and share God's word. And I pray that tonight somebody's life will be transformed. Hallelujah. I want to acknowledge my baby sister. Hallelujah. I love and appreciate you. Mkwasha, you are a blessing. Amen. And just to the leadership of the church as well, I want to acknowledge you and uh, appreciate you. Amen. I can also see my biological parents in the crowd. May God bless you. My mom and dad, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for, for being here. And to my spiritual sons and daughters who have come in round numbers, God bless you. Amen. May you partake of what God is doing here tonight. Amen. I have so much to share, um, and I want God to help me tonight. Amen. I, let's, let's start in the book of Hosea chapter 7. Hosea chapter number 7. Um, in fact, better still, let's just go to Psalm 110. Psalm 110, we'll touch Hosea just now. Psalm 110, verse 1 and 2. Hallelujah. I need a better amen than that one. If you are seated, please stand up on your feet for the reading of the word. Let's just honor the word of God. Hallelujah. If God can honor the word, we must honor the word of God. Let's all stand up. You'll be seated in a minute. Amen. Psalm 110, the Bible says in verse number one, the Lord say to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Verse two, the Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion. Rule in the midst of your people. In the day of his power, the people shall be willing. Lift up your right hand. Father, I thank you tonight for your word. I know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Send your word tonight. Speak through me. Give me the anointing that makes preaching and teaching easy. Anoint the ears of the hearers. Let them hear, not a man, but let them hear the oracles of God. Have your way tonight. Lord God, speak through me. Let the word bring transformation and change. Let yokes be broken. Now, devil, you are not permitted in this environment. You are not welcome in this place. Every satanic power assigned against this meeting tonight, I take authority. By the apostolic grace upon my life and the double portion anointing released by my spiritual father, I take authority over every demonic force right now. I subdue satanic powers. Altars of darkness assigned against this church, assigned against this meeting, assigned against this conference. You are a joker. You will not succeed. You will not prevail. For the power of God is available in this place. And I ask you, Holy Spirit, to have your way in this place. In Jesus' name, can somebody say amen? amen. God bless you. You may be seated. 
You may be seated. Hallelujah. I'm excited about just hearing about the things that were shared today. They are close to my heart. Because if we are going to succeed in this world, you need a warrior's anointing. Somebody say, I'm a warrior. Talk to me. Say, I'm a warrior. Hallelujah. Life does not give you what you deserve, but what you fight for. You've got to be a fighter. Tap your neighbor and say, you've got to be a fighter. Hallelujah. I've seen that things are never just given to you just like that. In fact, the Bible says in Matthew eleven twelve, from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Somebody say, I'm taking it by force. Say, I'm taking my house by force. I'm taking my property by force. I'm taking my dominion by force. I'm taking my next level by force. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that, God says in, in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you. Tell your neighbor, God has plans to prosper you. All right? So, God has good plans for you. Good plans. Great plans for your life. Amen. But despite those plans, he goes further in that scripture, further down to say, then you will pray to me. Then you will come to me. So despite God's plans, I still have to call on him so those plans can happen. The plans of God do not happen simply because God planned them. The plans of God are made to happen. Tell your neighbor, tonight some things will happen. Or say it again, say tonight some things will happen. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, we are going to bombard the heavens. And we are going to declare and decree that every outstanding blessing, every delayed manifestation of the blessing of the Lord must come down. Every delayed contract must come down. Every delayed marriage must come down. Despite the presence of our enemies, we shall rule. The Bible says that you rule in the midst of your enemies. I used to think that all my enemies have to go away before I'm elevated. But he said to me that he will bless me in the presence of my enemies. And I said, Lord, why do you want to bless me in the presence of my enemies? Why don't you take them out of the way? He says, because I want them to take testify and say, though we don't like him, God is elevating him. Oh, somebody, you don't hear me. <laughs> Maybe you don't have enemies like me, but I know what it is to have some enemies. And I decree, decree over your life, despite enemies in your life, the promise over your life is too great for it to be stopped by some witch, some wizard, some hater, somebody from the occult. And I decree that your financial destiny is about to open up in the name of Jesus. I speak under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I decree that all your finances that the enemy had caged and withheld, I decree and I prophesy they are finding their way into your hands in the name of Jesus. I said it's finding your way in the name of Jesus. That elusive contract is coming your way. Uh, that door that you thought would never open, it must open in the name of Jesus. Uh, maybe I'm here to talk to 50 people, uh, but I decree under the anointing, uh, there are 50 champions that shall be raised uh, out of this sermon tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm here by an anointing of the Holy Ghost uh, and I decree every obstacle standing in your way, uh, it must move out of the way. Uh, I said it must move out of the way. Uh, David said, by my God, I can run through a troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. By my God, I can run through a wizard. By my God, I can run through an occultist. By my God, I can run through a Satanist. Every satanic barrier placed against your life. I'm speaking here to cause a change. I'm not here to be here to, to be excited. I'm here to cause a shift and a change. In the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter how bad January, February, March, and April were. I prophesy as we begin the new month of May, it will not be a situation whether you may or you may not prosper. Your prosperity shall be seen in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree your prosperity shall be seen. Goodness and Mercedes Benz. 
shall follow you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that long delayed car, it must come. Go. Lazo tapakata. You're not just listening to a man. You're listening to a man who's anointed for cars. So when I prophesy a car, it must come to pass. It doesn't matter the resistance. Our God is bigger than the resistance. Everywhere I go and preach, I preach all over the world. Everywhere I go and preach, I bring the money grace. You're not listening to a papa. You're listening to a millionaire in dollars. Such as I have, I give unto you, Koba. If I lay these hands on you, it doesn't matter if you come from the poorest of the poorest of the poor. Poverty has got to exit you in the name of Jesus. Hardship has got to go. Lack and want have got to go. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You've got to rule. It's time for the Christians to dominate. Enough of the Christians only having breadcrumbs. The devil is a liar. Where are the real blessings? Where are the real cars? Where are the real houses? Where are the mansions? I refuse for, for Satanists to live better than me. A devil is a liar. As I'm speaking here, I'm breaking barriers. I'm not here to teach. Tomorrow I'll teach. Tomorrow I'll teach you how to be how to be blessed permanently. I'll teach you tomorrow. But as for today, I'm going into your family background. And I decree every barrier in your family background that says no to your house. That says you are supposed to be a permanent roger. That devil is a liar. It's a joker. We break the barriers tonight. We break the yokes tonight because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I'm just clearing my throat. <laughs> Laza Tabahaya, He Kabahaya, Kato Bose Tabahaya, Zika Bahaya Luru, Zebe Kerida Bahaya, Akata Babo Bakati Begese Telebogo, Eke Zato Bakata Labahaya, Lukutara Namuna Satambo Nabasa, Lozotopoko di Bahaya, Akaso Tapoko di Bahaya. Your destiny is too big. Actually, you're supposed to be an employee of labor, and the devil has so shackled you that you can't even find a job. But that devil is a liar. That cushy job in US dollars, it will find its way to you. In the name of Jesus, if I be a man of God, I decree over your life. I said that job, it must come your way. In the name of Jesus. You see, Please be seated. Our church is not a big church. KPM is not a big church. But if you come there in the parking, we have just about 500 members, plus minus. But if you come there, you think that there's a crowd of 5,000. Because the, the, the member ratio to cars is very high. I don't care how you feel about it, it's the truth. So when I prophesy, your car must come. As Nabasa kwa kaitu wa miko zaka, ita say kumuri kwenyu. Irukuto uya. Apana asa, a chato bondi zwa ninye Rolls Royce. Irukuto uya. 
Lota Bakaza Tomajika La Bahaya. Hey, Zete Boko di Bahaya. Your address must change. Lazo Pati Bakati Lebo go di Bahaya. Hako Tapakati Lebo go di Bahaya. The Bible says you shall have goodly houses. Goodly houses. He's talking about mansions. Your father in heaven wants you to live in a mansion. So when you get to heaven where there are mansions, you are not confused. God, you see, I decree over your life a proper house in your name. I'm just introducing myself. Because tika taura chokwadi, one wakawanda tika kupa one million. Our system of prayer points. Tonight, I'm here. I'm not here to be eloquent. I'm here to break the spirit of hardship. Hardship. It has got to change. And it's a different speaker. It's not a way of Wemuno. Lakata Baka di Bahaya. It's not a way because you see, you see, you know, thank God for the foreign speakers. God bless them. But I know your authority. Foul spirits, evil spirits. Muno mamuna foul spirits. Mune mwe awe msindo. Ya baka daba haya. Mune mwe china. Ino todane kandaro naro so. So I don't know Ino todane kandaro so. I don't know such an oro tamba iwe. Yangu iruku ya. Yangu mota nrugu itenga. Yekete boko si talaba haya. Hey! Ndati mwe ya iwoyo. Urugita tu garepa basa. 25 years. In the name of experience. I say experience. Where? Where are you? Do and that I need a pan. Where are you? I don't know. 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 Mbeda wakutu ne maruze kurara. Kuzaa. Hai wakana ibe. Hii baba jene tiraresha kana kaka. Pane chitina kapa kuna kusaidi kwenye amwe. Inga mwete ake msika shisi ya seiko. Kupu wa mte mwone sofa. Mwea. In it not to be a panaba, Ambama Bongo, no to the Untoros, or the Santoros, or the where Quisa TV Kumazero Ask a TV Mazero, Kadik is a good friend and Gamakasa laptop Kumazero. Where? 
Zekuti na ITV ya itaura. Ya itarata ama zangu ndona wandi sa wamana. Ndiri mudiki. Ndiri 10 inches mandinya nyira muri 15. Mwea. Ndati mwea. Mango my dad and poor cats, who share my axe, could do not ask him, who share my Kumbakango in my fridge, four, sorry, five. <laughs> so I'm speaking from a position of power. I've conquered poverty in the Chipoera family, it's under subjection. Chero butsi angu no kuzade poverty yake na mudara taka pesa na yo poverty taka to dila na yo. I I I despise poverty. Nothing good comes out of poverty. And I've realized that poverty does not go by principles alone, Pastor Junior. It it doesn't go just by principles alone. Because there are some satanic powers that resist principles. You don't understand. They resist principles. There are people who are tithing but poor. Here. And tonight we'll aggressively address that satanic power. We, we will address it. It has got to go by force. This year must not finish. Without you holding title deeds. This year. I'm not talking about a five year blessing plan. I said this year. You are too good looking to be a roger. Everyone under the sound of my voice. The Bible says you shall have houses plural. Houses you did not build. We want to leave an inheritance for our children. Yes, we talk about prosperity. What about posterity? Posterity. Generational blessing. If Jesus tarried, I will leave all my children with five properties each. That is the deal I made with God. And the same number of businesses per child. Not this thing of your child is married. Some, 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 some boy is frustrating my daughter over $5,000. The devil is a liar. We must empower our children in the name of Jesus. And I address that spirit that is resisting this word. In the name of Jesus, I, I break that power. That spirit of average that wants you to remain subdued and subjugated. It must set you free. In the name of Jesus, that satanic hold over you, over your contracts, it must let go. La tabazu talamahaya. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter number 1, reading from verse 18 to 21, somewhere there, he says, what are these horns to do? He says, what are these? He says, these are satanic horns. And he says, what are these horns to do? He says, these are the horns that scatter Judah so that no one can lift up their head. Your head is supposed to be lifted tonight. That amen is on a wheelchair. I need a real amen. I said, your head is supposed to be uplifted. I prophesy uplifting in the name of Jesus. Every satanic horn against your destiny must be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Because after that he said, what are these? He says, these are four craftsmen that are assigned to deal with the horns that have scattered Judah. I don't care what has scattered your finances. In the name of Jesus, that horn must be destroyed. I said, that horn must be destroyed. Because you have greatness upon your life. I said, there are bank owners on the inside of you. I said, there are more owners on the inside of you, hospital owners on the inside of you, in the name of Jesus. It must come to pass. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. It's time we take authority 
over these powers in the land of Zimbabwe. These powers that drive out investors. We take authority against these powers in the name of Jesus. Every investor that you need to come must come. And they must come with your terms. You must not be a slave. You must not be reduced to being, being an employee when you are a partner in the business. A devil is a liar. I declare and I decree every investment you are making on the marketplace must yield fruit. The Bible says you shall have fruit and your fruit must remain. It's a season of fruitfulness. I don't know if somebody feels it. It's a season of fruitfulness. Be ye fruitful in the name of Jesus. I command fruitfulness. Whatever has not been working must begin to work. Things that were not selling, they must begin to sell. Doors that were shut, they must open. This is a conference. That's the whole purpose of putting this together so that we change lives. And your life must not come out of this conference the same. I decree as you step into the office on Tuesday morning, you are stepping into a new dawn. I prophesy it over your life. I said you are stepping into a new dawn. Weeping may have ensured for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Psalm 30 verse 5. I prophesy your joy. I said I prophesy your joy. You have not had reason to celebrate the whole year, but this year, the rest of this year you shall, you shall celebrate. In the month of May, I prophesy, somebody under the sound of my voice, more money than you made in January, February, March, and April put together. The month of May is your month. I said it is your month. It must come to pass in the name of Jesus. Every horn must be, must be destroyed. Hallelujah. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal.